Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. I would have, I've, I've tried one of these when I was a kid, or maybe I've had them a few times. They're not my thing anymore, of course, folks. Um, but they're very, they've been around for decades. I remember them when I was a kid. So let's see if we can make it look really nice. getting hot now it's not hot like yesterday on 40 degrees but it feels hot because it's just been the unit still retains some of the heat from yesterday and it's it's humid it's been uh, on and off drizzle um, pretty much so it gets very uh, humid it's been very humid today Okay, let's see what this is. Uh, I do think maybe a uh, background colour, so it's a Melody Pop wrapper. So you all remember Melody Pops, folks. Indeed, like you just, they like a, an edible uh, musical instrument. And then of course when they get, they, they don't sound too good after you've had it for a long time, because it dissolves. Of course, being a lolly, so this is a Melody Pop wrapper. Not my thing. I don't like things like that. I don't like novelty things, sweets like that. But they tasted quite nice. I think I remember they're like a red, a red sort of a lolly. Um, a Melody Pop, indeed. Yeah, that's come up colour-wise, it's come up looking really quite nice. Um, interesting. Still looks a bit uh, a bit low contrast. I think it's a bit too, too much yellow in it there. Um, melody pop. Indeed, a melody pop. We didn't even use the hue. I think we used too much red in this. Yeah, that's it. That's a lot nicer. You can see more of the... Um, yellow and the green a bit more contrasty with each other so going to make this into a movement piece but yeah melody pops who could ever forget those and now they're, they're made by uh there's chopper chups and perfect perfetto but yeah this is indeed it's just another form of um these don't get advertised very big they're just in the shops, I do think. They're not really a very um, householdy name. They're not really trendy sorts of uh, confectionery, like other confectionery products that you see on the market, like Warheads and shit. Not that I... Oh, look, I forgot to adjust the colour balance to its usual amount. Maybe that was a good thing I made. But basically, yeah, um, colour... Pop. I do get annoyed at most confectionery companies for creating all these lollies and that, that that people, that kids become hooked on, it seems, and they just care about the money and what they produce, uh, or should I say the money they produce, I'm going to utilise this. So they really care only about money, they don't care about children and their health and all that sort of shit. Chopper Chops are popular. You get the Chopper Chops uh, lollipops and shit. 
But I do see most marketing as child abuse. I don't see it as anything legitimate. I do see it as child abuse when these confectionery companies try to make a huge dollar out of children's uh, love of their product. And yeah, it does. It annoys the fuck out of me, folks. It really does. It really pisses me off the way that these companies just want to make money. They don't care about the health of the children or the health of the or the parents, how they cope with um, having this shit forced onto kids and kids wanting to have keep pestering their parents to buy their lollies. You know, pester power. There's a lot of pester power in in confectionery uh, marketing. Uh, that's what it, it depends a lot on. It, children become marketing pawns uh, for these companies and it really is quite a cruel and diabolical way to sell a product and the products are not healthy and some, some of them can be downright hazardous like the, um, what do they call them? Brain liquors. The latest ones, the brain liquors, are indeed very popular now and so many kids get hooked on those and these brain liquors can be really, can sometimes burn children's mouths, which is really not nice, which is not acceptable, but that's the abuse. So that's how abuse of these companies can get. They don't care about the children, they just care about their fucking money. That looks too dark. I don't know why it's so dark. I thought I'd lighten it up. Unless I forgot to take the... Oh, shit, so I get so annoyed at this shit. Um, yeah, it's too dark here. That's why. I knew that was the case. I think I accidentally pushed a button here somewhere. I don't know, folks. These buttons can be a real pain. So fucked. Um, so, yeah. I just get so annoyed at the way these products are marketed to children and aimed at them and advertised at them. And that mum and dad are powerless to stop the pestering that the children have until they get what they fucking want. And this is it, you know, they, they end up just being marketing pawns. And it's a cruel industry, folks. It is a very, very, very cruel industry. As a, as a consequence. And toys are another thing that are marketed aggressively at children. And really, this is not acceptable. And Christmas is a time when this kind of shit really comes into it. And children definitely want to believe in a Santa Claus and Santa Claus is another piece of sh marketing shit that we don't need or want. Yeah, what am I doing wearing one of these? Well, I don't know, I'm just being trend, being festive, I suppose, but it's become such a staple to wear a fucking Santa hat or a fucking elf's hat and even I'm doing it. <laughs> Fuck me dead. I do like the sparkles and I'm trying to keep the festivity, but seriously, I don't... Apart from that, I don't believe in in marketing with Santa. Santa sucks. He can't give. What about the poor children? What are the children who are poor going to think? You know that Santa Claus doesn't exist. You know, they're going to think that. They're going to know that. It's going to be like a heartache for them. But no, it's, the poor people matter not. They don't matter. They're just allowed, they just make disappear into nothingness because these fucking rich people want sales and they use these bloody Santa Claus and him shit and Santa Claus should not be um, become a, a staple Let's see how we go with this that one there and this one here anyway enough of that that's come up looking uh, quite funny word a treat I think we can now call this demo quits.